Ladies and gentlemen, let's uh, take a look at the selection table for today. Let's take a look here. First of all, we probably need to look at the injuries. And we see it's still Rance. He's still out for 11 weeks. Big problem. But we, we have to push through that. We have to push through that, okay? Rance, 11 weeks out. It's fine. Spartanichi does not deal with maybes or buts. You know, we just have to do with it. And there's no one who's been suspended either. So we've pretty much got a full list to pick from. Here at the lineup here. Nankervis, is he improving? Is he losing constantly? He's up against Big Sammy Jacobs. Yeah, no, nah, I'm pretty happy with how this is working so far. Maybe swap these two. Yep, that might work better for me. Caddy's actually done all right once he's played off halfback. He's playing on Lever, uh, which is an interesting choice. Cooley on Betts, probably going to get beaten. Griffiths, yeah, look, the small forwards, they're working. Miles, Greek, Conquer, Ellis, all making up, you know, the numbers and, and, and doing it nicely. So we'll see if anyone else. Sam Ward's probably the one that's, that's missing out that, that should be in the side. But, yeah, I think that's a pretty good performance at the moment. Pretty good performance at the moment. Pretty good performance at the moment. <laughs> Gee, it's a dull looking afternoon here at the Adelaide Oval. The Crows and the Tigers playing with some pretty nice uh It's actually a pretty poor crowd. Life's pretty straight without without twisties. You can see the sponsorship there. So I was wondering where we change that twisties one. Here come the Tigers down the race! Oh we're from Tigerland. Here they come, the Tiggies. Pretty poor crowd there. Don't step back. Continue the fight. Show the world the tiger might cover tights. Get around him. Crowd appreciating the crows coming out here. The majority of the home crowd will get behind them. Have a look at the pitch. It's fantastic. Glorious in the middle there. <laughs> Next time I'm going to just make my head size large. Just much larger. Matty Nichols says, Trent, you have the toss. Yeah, and Cochin has kicked against the wind, apparently. It's pretty grim at the moment, the weather. Nain Kervis, Jacobs, the big boys in the middle of the ground, and we're on the way, of course. Cochin got it out of there, but it goes out wide from the Crows towards Cameron, who can go with a little one over the top to land. He's got room to move, could have just bummed it long, but went out wider still. Caddy got a spoil in there, bloody peeves. Get in there. Go Grimes. And he gets a fist in. Then he goes to increase the possession of the ball. The Crows go forward looking for any bets. Throw it in out of bounds. Jeez. Little option out wide in Lambert. Takes a nice mark. Can see Dustin Martin out. The mother, you just kicked it straight in the bloke on the mark. Lambert picks it up again. Hamble towards Cochin now. He's got it running through the middle towards Dan Curvis. For the big Ruckman on the left boot. Long inside 50. Castagna. Talia's down there. Gets a spoil on. Castagna left foot ball around the corner. Rewalt. Oh, didn't quite get it. Rioli's down there as well. Jack trying to get this. Bolton trying to tap it along the ground. Rewalt got stumped off the play. The Crows still trying to get out of this. Tiger forward line pressure. Prestia tackles Sloan. Edwards tackles Cameron and the Tigers get a free. And Dustin Martin says, no, thank you. We're going to take no advantage. And Titch Edwards is about 70 out from goal. He's just going to long, long kick. That's unbelievable. He's Cotchin tapped towards Edwards, who just kicked the goal. Nan Curvis now on the left, goes inside the forward 50. Rewalt is there, Rioli's there, but Otten takes the mark. And full back. Playing on Jack Rewalt at the moment, Eddie Otten. Got to do a nice job. All right. Lambert picks the ball up, tries to spin out of trouble, then gets tackled. Kick went out wide of the wing. I reckon that's deliberate, mate. There's no one really there. Could have pinged him. It's a very low scoring game in these conditions, I suppose. Here's Dusty, has a bounce, probably shouldn't have done that thing. In the back, and then Curvis wins a free. Goes towards Dustin Martin, didn't get him, got Edwards instead. Edwards was pressed here, goes back towards Edwards, picked up by Dustin Martin, can have a bounce, can have a second bounce, and go long inside the forward 50. Rioli is out there and he's got it. Beautiful, just used the body early, Daniel Rioli. 45 out, directly in front, that's a shank, and out behind. Goes with a long ball towards the boundary, and Curvis is down there as the big ruckman, and gets a handball to Prestia. Handball went over the top towards Butler, who just runs away, goes with the right foot, nah, nah, got it! Grimes just got it out of the middle, then his handball went straight towards Sloan, who just went bang! He went bang! Oh, and he missed. 
and that is quarter time. Tigers by 11 points. Look at this early, early stage, uncontested ball, dead even, contested ball. 12 fought. So there has not been much contested ball at all in this game. The tackle counts fairly even. The free kicks are fairly even. Surprisingly, we're winning them. But uh, And we've turned the ball over a couple more times than the Crows with the, the clangers there. But we're doing a fairly good job early. And Curvis says, Presti at the back if you can get it in that direction. Tried to. Slow left foot drop. Pan he's missed. He's taking a couple of shots. From a long uh, direction. Two goals would change the lead Rory Sloan dribbles the ball forward. Bolton can run onto this one. He does. He's got Dusty. Out wide. Who says I can go with the left boot and miss everything? Oh, dangerous kick. Rewalt's cut it off. And he can line up. Got the protection of the stand there. The wind shouldn't affect it as much. And it goes dead centre. As Rewalt put that one through. So 16 points. Tiger lead right now. Jacob's got it out of there. Here's Nang Kervis. Cochin just bobbled it out of there. Then Prestia tapped it along the ground. Might not have been a great decision. McIntosh and Lambert for the Tigers trying to win this one. Lambert got it to McIntosh. Lynch picked it up and got tackled. Now Cochin trying to win it back. And McIntosh still down there with Lynch, who tackles him once more. Hampton runs away from Vloston, who gets a big tackle on in the end. Cotchins down there. McIntosh still trying to win the footy. And he gets away from Riley Knight. Hamwell goes on. This is just high pressure at the moment at the Adelaide Oval. As Hooley gets it out. Dustin Martin picks it up. He's dumped as well. Finally, it ends up with, I mean, it means Sammy Jacobs or Scotty Thompson and the Crows get there first. Oh, my voice. Back in the middle, then Kervis and Jacobs. Jacobs straight down to Sloan. Now picked up by the uh, another Adelaide player with a long torp. He's kicked another one. Led it was. And Jacobs, Jacobs to Sloan again. Again to Crouch. And again, the Crows have hit the front. We know they have scoring power and they can score quickly, the Crows. Jacobs got it out, but it went to Dustin Martin. Now back to Crouch. They might have cut it off here, Adelaide. But the Tigers threw Cochin to Prestia, to Griffiths. Little one over the top for Castagna might not get him. Griffiths has to go back and win the footy again. Castagna trying to pick it up now. Griffiths, Castagna, Bolton, Prestia, Castagna. Little one over the top, Rewalt. No, didn't get it. Spoil went down there. Griffiths goes off the ground. Rioli also, and another one for the Tigers. They're back in it. They're back in it. Anyway, back in there, the Tigers will appreciate that one. Grimes, he cannot run down Brad Crouch as he thumps through another goal. Walker goes into the middle now, so it's a good opportunity for the Tigers to maybe take advantage of the stoppage while Jacobs is off the ground. Free kick Tigers, they will not take the advantage even though they were off. Maybe that umpire should have paid Fiddy. Maybe he should have. Picked up by Butler, spun out of trouble, then ran into the open goal. Might find Castagna instead, he does. He finds his roommate down there, Georgie Boy. He's going to line up, a little bit of angle. Snap the ball through. Yes! He's got it. Four point Tiger lead at this stage. Tap went out of there from Walker. The Tigers, Walker again. He's a long kick. We know he's a thumping kick. The Crows have kicked a fifth goal. And I think four of them have been from outside 50. Gets it out of there towards Cochin again, but it's Douglas who picks it up. Gets almost run down. Talia out of there. Then Curvis gets dumped. Walker! You're kidding! Oh my god! Goodness me. Half time, the Crows by eight points. Oh my goodness. Unbelievable. Extremely even, but the Crows, they killed us around the stoppage. Look at the hit out. It's 15 to 7, and it's really been Sammy Jacobs, who I would argue would be the number one player on the ground at the moment. What's the hit out looking like? He's had 13 of those. What about disposal-wise from Sam Jacobs? He's had five. He's surely had tackles as well, Jacobs. He's had three. So he's just creating these opportunities for them inside the, you know, inside that centre square. Crouch and Walker with two goals apiece. Gee, they're doing well. Yeah, it's six goals to three for the team for Adelaide. And they're right back in it. They lead it by eight points. The half-time break. Out of the middle. The Crows start the third term exactly how they started the second. With a goal from long range. 
Crows with the last three goals of the game. Here's Cameron Mancurvis. Cut it off. Rewalt. Oh, drop the mark. Couldn't hold on. Can put the tackle on here. Dan Butler will run in. Dribble at home. Tigers excited about that one. Right behind it. Handball went out wide to Jacobs. Handball, he, he gave it straight to Conker. Who should have given it back to Dan Curvis? But he'll get it again, Conker. Then holding the footy, just tried to take on too many people. Prestia long ball, Rioli and Rewalt down there. Jack will take it. Big contested grab at the twisty scoreboard end. He's kicked it. Jacobs takes control of the bouncing ball. After watching both sides play with it, he's dusty. Can have a bounce. Can have a second bounce. Campbell to Cotchin. Can handle back to Dustin Martin. Who can load up from Fiddy? Dustin Martin! Get around him! The Tigers with the last three of the game now to get a margin to a four points in their favour. Curvis and Jacobs. Jacobs wins it down. Prestia soccer off the ground towards Lambert. Who tapped it beautifully to Cotchin. Who sees Dustin Martin can burst away from the pack. Can load up again! Dustin Martin! Back-to-back -back goals from Dusty there. Once again, just bursting away from his opponents. Beautiful tap from Lambert to Cochin. And the handball. And Dusty just ran away from Scotty Thompson. Okay, back in there. Sloan trying to win this contest. And he does. Asprey's down there. Tap to Cochin, who's been winning a lot of the footy this quarter. Trent, right foot snap around the corner. This might bounce through for the Crows. Unlucky, though, from Laird. It's gone the other way. And he can run. And he sees Lambert has some space to work into. Who gets it over the top towards Prestia. Back to Lambert. Has to kick it now. Inside the 50. Rioli and Rewalt. Rewalt and Rioli. Otten. Back there. Just wins the contest. Takes the mark. And then a poor kick out of defence. Sees the Tigers. Through Dustin Martin. Can he get a third in a minute? No, he can't. Douglas in the back pocket. Rewalt looking to cut it off with a spoil. Now uh, the Crows through the middle of the ground. Can go out wider still. Look at the lever. Half forward man. He's pushed a long way up the ground. Bashar Hooli cuts it off. Now the Cameron to, towards Crouch. Has Eddie Betts. Eddie Betts. All on his own. Trying to win a contested ball to save their life. The Tigers then Curvis gave it away with a throw. Crouch will run into the open goal. And the Crows hit the front again. The Crows hit the front again. There's Griff. Dusty. Oh, Dusty beautifully towards Griffiths. Who says, give it to me, Griffiths. And I'll kick another. He's kicked three, Dusty. 11 touches. Four contested possessions. He's just winning the contest at the coal face as well. He's winning everything. Everything at all. Always everything. And that is uh, all clear. Tigers by three points. Three quarter time. What a tense moment we have here. What tense moments. Contested ball was fairly even. Uncontested ball fairly even. This is about as evenly matched a game as I've had ever. Like, I don't think I've ever had... It. It's either been, like, a blowout either way. It's very rare. And, like, even with the contested and uncontested ball stats, they're normally fairly even. You guys are playing your guts out. They are playing their guts out. This is a match worthy of the top-of-the-table teams. And if we win this, nothing is impossible. Nothing. We are a shadow of the team that lost to the Blues in round one. It's only been five, five uh, weeks, but we are a very strong side. This will be our, I'm going to say third consecutive, third consecutive win. We can do it. Be inspired. Unite. And Cochin is leading the way super well. Look at him. He's had nine touches. But Dustin Martin, of course, 11 disposals, Dusty, with the three goals. Get in there and do it. I believe in the side. Five goals that term to three. Final term, Adelaide with the wind in the final quarter. Let's see how much of a difference it makes. Huge final quarter. Can the Tigers go against the breeze in this term to finish off the job? Oh, the Crows. Crouch didn't go forward. Bizarre decision to go to wide the lever. Who then goes inside 50, but Crouch, maybe he knew what he was doing. He found space in there. And the Crows within the opening minutes... Oh, is he missed? No, he's got it. They can get it back. The lead. Jeez, it's going to be tight. He's kicked five goals, Brad Crouch, from 11 touches. 
probably the best player on the ground, you would think, who's been setting up all sorts of glory for the Crows. Crouch again for number six. Beautiful run down tackle from Dustin Martin. Lost out in there towards Hooley. The Tigers under immense pressure in their defensive 50 now. Here's a handball from Martin. Went out wide to Cameron. Sloan picked it up. Now Dusty gets it again, and we'll get another ball up to you. The Tigers, they did well to hold that uh, attack off from the Crows. Here's Cochin. Martin and Presti are down there as well. Martin towards Cochin, and they'll get it again. That's okay. We're good here. Cochin goes out towards Conca. Nice grab, Reese. Can spot up a target inside the forward 50. This is Castagna. I'm not sure if Georgie Boy has the distance on him. I'm really not sure. He's got Rewald in the square. Goes in the Rioli direction. That's a beautiful lace-out hit. Beautiful lace-out hit. And Dan Rioli can load up. The Tigers can kick their first of the last. They get the lead back. They get the lead back. Glorious. 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 Goal for goal. The last four goals at the moment here. Dustin Martin picks it up. Gets a clearance. Good looking kick towards Butler. Rioli's there as well. The man Butler turns. Left football. Rewild at the front. Oh, didn't quite get it. But here's Rioli. Can just take on the pack. Snap on the left. On the left. He's got it. Oh, boy. Back-to-back -back goals for the Tigers. Rioli with two. Very quickly. Just superb roving front and centre. Douglas went towards the back of the contest. And Rioli zipped through the front of the pack there. Clearly a smart small forward. He's just straight in the front. And whack. Nice. And now Butler with a... Oh, I was going to go the boot on now from the boundary. We'll get another throw in, I reckon. He always played deliberate. Douglas just went straight for the line. Here's Lambert. He's a long way out. He's a long way out. This would be an incredible goal. Right on the boundary. Imagine if this went through. Oh, it's a thumping ball. Castagna's back there. Vitalia has just cut it off. Oh, Dion Prestia takes a nice grab and the Tigers really just need the mark inside 50. Take the 30, Rioli. Yep, good. He can take his full time. He can take his full measure. There's two minutes to play. And he can finish the job here. This is make it a 17-point Tiger lead. It's a long kick. Rewild in the goal square. He's got it. Just out wide. And he can take his full 30 seconds as well here, Jack. Surely will not miss. He thumps it home. The Tigers are going to get the job done. It's a 17-point lead. Final score, the Tigers get the job done. Beautiful work, boys. What a of oh, the we are from Tigerland. Ah, uh, yes, uh, Mr. Nietzsche, Breno Brenosin from the Courier Mail. Good vibes coming from the Tigers locker room. Is your team in a good state of mind at the moment? Thanks, mate. Yeah, no, we're in a pretty. Uh, oh, jeez, that's uh, laggy. Uh, yeah, we're in a pretty, pretty good position. I, I think after after four rounds, we ended up rounding out. Uh, you know, this this round here, obviously in in about fourth position, I think fourth position. So the top, well, you know, I think we're in a, a really strong spot. We're gonna gonna obviously face some challenges throughout the season, but um, we're we're in a good state of mind because we're playing well, and I feel like. Uh, you know, the group's really lifted since our early losses in the season to Carlton and West Coast. I mean, we're one and two. We're now three three wins in a row against good quality opposition. So if we can continue that trend uh, for the remainder of the year, we'll be in, in good stead. Hey, Spud. Uh, what do you think the difference was in that game compared to all the other ones so far in the season? Yeah, I think it was a, a really hard-fought contest that uh, we probably haven't had uh, as much. I think a lot of our games have... You know, while while they've been close, they haven't necessarily been close in terms of the contest and and how close you know stats were. Either we we were butchering shots at goal in in close games that we might have got over the line, um, you know, missing chances, or or it was you know a blowout like it was against the Eagles, or, or a blowout in our favour as well. So, you know, there's always, uh, you know, opportunities for things to go right and for things to go wrong, but. Uh, 
yeah, unfortunately today was, uh, you know, a pretty good day. For, I mean, fortunately today was a pretty good day for us. Yeah, yeah mate. Uh, Nat from Nat Man Media 180, uh, what do you think the difference was in the game today? Yeah, I thought um, I thought we just played uh, a little a little better um, when we needed to. I think that against the wind, especially in that in that final term, was probably our best uh, quarter that we played for the year. They challenged early uh, when they hit the front and, and have put that scoreboard pressure on. But you know, we're, we're, we value our defensive side of things. Um, you know, we're one of the better defensive defensive teams in the competition. You know, while we might not score as highly as other sides we are one of the better defensive defensive sides so uh we're pretty pleased with how things are going for us at the moment and i think we were just able to you know capitalize on hitting targets inside 50 in that uh last term yeah yeah um we've we've just got some questions regarding uh what are you wearing on your head what what's the go there yeah, well, uh, obviously we come to these press conferences, and it's extremely difficult for you know people at home to to hear the blo- the journalist. You can't hear him because you know clearly there's this thing called microphones that we never want to never want to put uh, put at you guys. So I figured I would join in the general public struggling to hear you guys uh, by trying to block my ears out a little bit. No, fair yeah. enough. I've got one more question. Uh, what was on the uh, center circle at Adelaide Oval? Was this a prank set up by? The footy club, or what's going on there? Yeah, no, I'm not entirely sure. They might have uh, gone into the archives to set that one up, but uh, you know, I'm not complaining at all. Gets a gets a bit of me, me, me time out there, and uh, yeah, you don't mind it, do you? Yeah, mate. I'm just checking the fixture here, and you're coming up against Western Bulldogs. Bulldogs, yep. What's your plan going into that game under the dome's roof? Yeah, so we come up against obviously uh, last year's premiers. They're they're going about as well as us at the moment, four and two. So uh, it's going to be another another tough contest. Uh, another side that that moves the ball very quickly, and uh, you know we'll have to you know analyze how they go around the stoppage. But uh, that's that's something we'll sort of look into a little bit later on this week. Uh, yeah. Hey Spud, any uh, any updates with any injuries slash? Uh, changes towards this squad for next week. Um, no, no injuries at the moment. Uh, I think we got through unscathed, and uh, we'll work that out when selection comes later in the week. All right, thanks, guys.